Nigerians defy presidency, vows to continue using t pain nickname for Tinubu. Now to the news info. Nigerians on X, formerly Twitter, have pledged to persist in referring to President Bola Tinubu as t pain if his administration fails to address the escalating hardship in the country. The nickname, which has gained popularity on social media, represents the increasing dissatisfaction with the Nigerian government's performance under President Tinobu's leadership. The moniker T Pain originated from a satirical remix of American singer T Pain's track Buy You a Drink by Nigerian sat- satirist Zambelo, the remix titled Nigerians I Go Make You Poor, focuses on the economic difficulties caused by President Tinobu's policy such as the removal of fuel subsidies and the flotation of the exchange rates. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar also criticized President Tinubu and his administration on Saturday joining the trend by referring to Tinubu as steeping. Atiku accused the President of being indifferent to the growing hardship and daily eroding the material well-being of Nigeria. You see those Twitter and they are from a di- different world. They will tackle you. They will talk, they will they have mind in, on that Twitter and nobody is above the law. Once they come to Twitter, once they bring your matter to Twitter, just forget about it. And really, is it not pain? Is it not causing us pain? At least it's when no more has said the T in the pain is temporary. So maybe you should stick with that and forget the ones that Twitter people are saying. Because Twitter people they will not relent in calling him that. In response, the presidency cautioned Nigerians against calling Tinubu T Pain, describing it as a stain on his reputation. Imagine people are calling you T Pain, and that is what you are bothered about. Is the T Pain is this is this sticking to your shirt? Is this sticking to your clothes? Irrelevant things. That is what they are, they'll be fighting for. Things that you are supposed to talk about, that you are supposed to face as an issue, you will not face that. You are pained that people are calling you tipping and you are, you are warning them so that what will happen? They should be scared, I'll be again. No, no. Netizens have stated that they will continue to use the nickname unless the president alters his economic policies. As long as the people continue to feel the pain of misgovernance, the name will continue, said the user named Izigab. Another user, Izzy Arinze, commented, the worst way to reject a nickname is by telling people to stop calling you that name. That is when you trigger more momentum. Other users expressed their frustration with the government's priorities. David Pine wrote, Rather than trying to seek out ways of addressing Nigeria's problem, it is privileged things such as this that bothers you exactly. Why should that be a problem to you? Why? Now, maybe they will start sending people to go and start arresting those people in their house for calling the president TP because there is nothing they cannot do. These things should not even bother you at all because, of course, citizens will talk. You don't expect them to keep quiet. You don't expect them to keep quiet with all the sufferings that they are going through. It should not even bother you. The grace day for you added now the name is permanent because you don't tell people not to call you by a nickname. See paint for life. Some users also raised concerns about the government's reaction to citizens' freedom of expression. Adania wrote, Tinubu's regime's constant threat to citizens' freedom of expression is totally unacceptable. Valencia questioned, in a short said this democracy feel, go feel work for this tenure because they will soon go house to house. They go arrest though, for freedom of speech violation. And really, it is something that they can do. Because why should... They, People calling you names should even bother you. Of course they will talk. People are angry. People are hungry. So let them talk. It should not even be a problem to you. But that is what they will take as important. Meanwhile, there are other important things that they should be talking about. Musa Tataya says, let him go to court. Abi, because I don't understand. Oh, yeah, go and sue the whole of Twitter now. Go and sue the whole of, of everybody on Twitter that they are calling you tipping. Like, is that even, does that even make sense? Of course, they will call you names. You are not the first person that they will call names. Even U.S. President, U.K. President, they have called them names. Their citizens have the right of speech. But in this country, you can't talk. You can't do anything. They will come and arrest you. 
They will say you should not call them that, you should not do this, you should not do that. What exactly is it? Are we still in a democratic or autocratic country that you don't have the right to talk? Emmanuel said, but the tipping of our time. Official name now, for now. Yes, so you should just hold on to that name. At least hold on to it. You should even, even, even try to joke about it too and say that Nigerians are calling you tipping, but no. You want to come and start saying that you are not, you are not okay with the name and Nigerians should stop calling you the name. Because of what? Are we not going through pain? Eh? Uh -huh. pain now. Femi says, I'll be calling you Tipping and you'll be that nickname forever. And this name does not even affect you in any way. They are calling you that, eh? Uh -huh. So, does that affect you in any way? No. Azubuko Chika says, Presidency, they make me laugh. Tinobu has no reputation before, during and after his ascendancy to power. Mika Ishaya says, The name sweet though, Tipping. I just like the name and the name resembles Tinobu. Mm -hmm. Dick Fester says, Yes, that evil man is tipping for forcing his useless and hopeless self on us. He will forever be tipping for all I know. Peter Ejike says, Tipping Pro Max is even a joke to what a Melocon government has done to us. Calling you nickname is like the list of the things that you should worry about. You should worry that citizens will come out and revolt one day. With the way the situation of the Nigeria is going, they are bothered about the name that they are calling you. That should not even bother you at all. It should not. It should be the least of your worries. Jude Chima says, Tipin should bring back all prices of things to where they were before he became president. Until then, the Tipin remains Tinobu's new name. Mm -hmm. Chibu Kinwala says, it doesn't change anything for me. I am not in support of Tinobu government, but Nigeria should try to change our tribal mindset. Because for me, T Pain is medicine after death. Well, most people did not vote for him, he forced his way in. So, you should, people should try to not blame Nigerians too much. The fact that this man entered, I know some people voted for him, more, but still, a good number of people did not want him there and they did not vote for him. He just told the mandate. The mandate that he's using now this is a stolen mandate. And that is why people are even still angry that you are there and then you are still causing pain. And they are giving you a nickname. You are angry. Why? You should take the name with with with, with pride, self. Take it that you are tipping because are you not causing pain? You are. Tinobu, Sunchi Okoko said, Tinobu is the worst nightmare in Nigeria. May all my say Allah get rid of this government and all its supporters. Amen. Hey man, no, Tipping should be least of your worries for now, sir. And try to fix the issue of, of, of what people are going through and not be bothered about the name calling. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Thank you for listening to you some other time. Bye.